I'm here in Congo and this morning we have the uh, the really fun job of having to anaesthetise two young male gorillas. One of them is two years old, Yengo, and Awando is three years old. Um, we have to anaesthetise them in order to just give them a routine health examination, take some blood samples, hair samples, faecal samples, just to check that everything is in order. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to try and do it um, in a slightly different way in the sense that we're going to give them each an, uh, a try and give an oral sedative and anaesthetic which we're going to mix in with a little bit of honey and using some cotton buds and the staff that work with them every day we're going to try and rub that onto the inside of their lips so that uh, the idea is that the, the drug gets absorbed across the mucous membranes um, and the young gorillas will be a little bit more sedated, a little bit more quiet uh, at the point when we actually inject them with ketamine, which is the anaesthetic drug, to actually induce the anaesthesia. So um, we, we could do it the sort of old fashioned way and just walk in there, grab them and inject them. But the idea is that hopefully using this oral uh, sedative and the, the oral ketamine as well um, we can actually keep them nice and calm nice and quiet and a lot less stressful and hopefully they uh, they won't remember the event as a stressful one so let's see how we get on <coughs> So these are the two gorillas that we have to anaesthetise this morning. Um, on the left we've got uh, Yengo um, and Rwanda next to him. So you can see they're pretty bright at the moment and we have to make sure that they stay relatively calm. Look. And, uh, hopefully we can do this nice and quickly and efficiently. So Yengo has um, received some sedative and uh, and a little bit of ketamine as well that we've rubbed on the inside of his lips and you can see we did that about 10 minutes ago and he's looking really really sleepy and that's exactly how we want him so we can now give him another injection or give him an injection with some ketamine to actually induce anaesthesia fully. On the other hand, Rwando, uh, to the right, um, he's not taking the oral medication at all, so for the moment we've just left him alone and we'll concentrate on Yengo for now and come back to him in a bit.
Uh, so I'm here in Congo uh, with Kengo, who is a young uh, two-year-old male gorilla, uh, Mattia, who is the um, program coordinator of the Asthma Foundation sister project in Gabon, is just helping me. And we have anaesthetised Kengo so that we can give him just a routine health check, listen to his heart, um, give him a good uh, look over, check his teeth, and also take various uh, samples. So I've taken um, a load of blood so that we can send that away for just general health profiles and also uh, check for certain diseases and um, we've collected a hair sample so that we can test DNA if we need to in the future and a faecal sample as well. He looks in really really good condition, um, really happy with how, how it's gone this morning so uh, we're ready now, we're going to give him a reversal agent which will start the, the process of reversing anaesthesia so hopefully once I've given that, he will be uh, awake in about 10 or 15 minutes. So, you know, let's, let's get on with that. Okay. So uh, Yengo is uh, wide awake now and he's looking absolutely great. Uh, Awando didn't take the oral medication, he just didn't he didn't want it at all. So we had to uh, go to plan B, um, which is when we, we had to actually um, sort of manhandle him as it were and actually just hand inject him. It's a little bit more stressful for him but it was over very, very quickly. And you can see now that he's, he's, uh, he's already um, pretty much asleep um, and anaesthetized. So He's breathing well um, and we're just going to wait a couple more minutes and then we'll start doing the same with him as we did with Yengo before him. Thank you. 
So this morning's gone really well. Uh, you can see that both the young male gorillas are awake again now. Um, Yengo to the left is climbing all over the place and uh, uh, he woke up nice and quickly. And then Owando did him uh, second and he has just woken up as well. So he's, he's still a little bit groggy, but um, you can see he's, he's still laying down a little bit. But um, no, everything's gone, everything's gone exactly as we hoped it might do which is absolutely great. Really, really pleased with how it's all gone. So we can send off those samples now, get those tested, and, uh, and hopefully they'll all come back a negative. So it's the morning after we anaesthetised the two uh, infant gorillas, Yengo and Awando. So we're just going to go and check on them now, make sure they're doing okay, which I'm sure they are, before we uh, actually head off and leave Congo. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour, Wando. Hey, Yengo. Hey. Allez. C'est tous les jeunes de Rayon. So here's this is Yengo, two year old male. In the background is Orlando, slightly bigger, three years old. <laughs> they both like to try and assert their authority, so I'm gonna try and keep my voice down a little bit, but <laughs> So these two fantastic ladies, this is Catherine and Edith sitting down in the background. Uh, they are what's known as <laughs> mamas um, and they work with the they work with the gorillas every day. Um, they come into the to the forest with Yango and Wando, who's behind me. Hey mate. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> their job. Hey, Wando. Hey. Wando. Joel. Joel. Wando. Ma. Ma. Hey, yeah. Ma. Sorry, as I was saying, um, Edith and uh, and Catherine, they spend their days um, every day. They come into the forest with Yango and Wan and Owando, and the idea is that they teach them all the skills that they need to. To know to be able to survive in the wild so these guys are two and three years old at the moment and they'll stay with the Aspinall's project uh, for 
uh, another five or six years and then having learnt all those skills and having got a little bit bigger to be able to fend for themselves they'll be hopefully uh, released into the wild <laughs> you can hear him laughing he's enjoying this he's 24 kilos where's he heavy <laughs> You can try with the other one. He's lighter. Wait, Yango. Yango. Yango, let's go. Ma. Yango, ma. Ma. So I think we'll we'll say goodbye to the. <laughs> we'll say goodbye to the gorillas now. They look absolutely great after uh, being anesthetized yesterday. Um, we'll send off those samples. Hopefully, they will all come back negative as we want them to and we'll leave them to it. So goodbye Congo and goodbye Yengo.